I hope you're having a great week. I'm doing a short video today about the town of Rimrock, Rimrock, Arizona, which is one of the five main Verde Valley towns. We have Cottonwood, Camp Verde, Rimrock, Clarkdale, and Cornville, plus there's a few others, Page Springs, that are so small, I'm not gonna bring them up. In fact, Rimrock is so small that I couldn't find data on this town in my uh, most commonly used source where I find uh, demographic information. So a lot of this is just going by what I know and the few things I were was able to find out. I do see that the population is about 3,200. So a very, very small town. It's a very rural town. The big thing that it's known for is Montezuma's Well. You have to drive through Montezuma's Well or to Montezuma's Well. You drive through Rimrack. And actually there's three towns that you might see come up, which I'm grouping it all in Rimrock, which is going to be McGuireville, Lake Montezuma, and then of course Rimrock. Now Rimrock is another one of the towns that you get to if you're coming to Phoenix, say Sky Harbor Airport, you would go north on the Interstate 17 and instead of taking the 260 exit where you would go to Camp Verde or Cottonwood, you would go another exit, I think it's 293 and it's also called Cornville Road, but the exit will say McGuireville and you will bear east or right and you'll take the tiny little exit and you'll go through McGuireville, Rimrock, Lake Montezuma, and that's where you are. So uh, the median age in Rimrock is 44, so a younger population than you'll see in some of the other Verde Valley towns. Uh, elevation I couldn't find. Like I say, it's so small, there are not a lot of stats on it, but I'm gonna put it around 33, 3400, because that's what most of the Verde Valley elevation is. And it's gonna give you nice temperate climate where your highs in the peak of the summer is gonna be in the low 100s, you know, 99, 100, 102. Not that it can't be higher than that, but that's about what your average is going to be. And then a low in the winter time in January will probably be around the freezing mark, uh, maybe a little lower. But again, in the winter time, you're going to have a high, maybe 55, 60 degrees. So very nice uh, year-round climate. It does snow every once in a while, but it won't stick. Uh, it won't last for even more than a day. And um, a nice area. So many of the people that work in Sedona, or at least here in the village of Oak Creek, uh, live in Rimrock and commute. And the reason for that is it's just so expensive to live in Sedona that most of the people that work here can't afford to live here, which is a shame. Um, it's about 20 minutes away. I actually have a good friend that lives in Rimrock, and if I go the back way, I can get to her house in 20 minutes. So uh, you're 20 minutes away from the village, and you know maybe 30 minutes from Cottonwood, 30 minutes from you know, the city of Sedona. Um, one thing that is nice is that if you're looking for horse property or if you're looking for property where you could have chickens, cattle, donkeys, uh, goats, that kind of thing, there are a lot of places in Rimrock where you could buy acreage or smaller areas even where you can have farm animals and that's got a very nice, you know, appeal to it. Rimrock and Camp Verde, I would say, are the two towns next to each other where you can have farm animals so that's kind of nice um some of the homes near the top you know because you'll go into rimrock one area you'll veer towards lake montezuma and the other way you'll go kind of towards the mountains and if the home is faced a certain direction you could see sedona red rocks and it's facing the other direction you could see the mingus mountain range which in winter time is absolutely breathtaking um there are no major stores there there's a Dollar General and a Family Dollar where you can get some groceries, but the main grocery stores you're going to have to either go to the Bashes in Camp Verde or you're going to have to go to Clark's in Village of Oak Creek. And of course, Cottonwood is close. I mean, Cottonwood is where I go living in Sedona to do my major stuff, major shopping, um, which would be the same if you lived in Rimrock. Now, the big draw, or what it's famous for, is Montezuma Well. If you do a Google on Montezuma Well, it's one of the national... Um, parks, I think, um, you know, a very f famous Arizona landmark. Um, some of the other things you could do, there's a little antique store, there's several antique stores, uh, especially as you first come in and go through McGuireville. Uh, there is a uh, feed store if you need to buy hay or chicken feed and that kind of stuff. A couple of restaurants. Um, not a lot of restaurants, but two or three little cafe style restaurants. And then of course there's Beaver Creek. 
a little beaver creek runs through it it's a, a, a pretty little stream and if you are wanting to stay in rimrock you would probably stay at the beaver creek inn now i sell real estate in rimrock i've sold several houses seems like i sell at least one there every year um the median price for homes i couldn't find it uh, if you really needed to know, I could download data from the MLS and figure it out running some formulas because I used to be a data analyst, so I'm very good um, finding out statistical information, but I really don't want to unless you're dying to know. I'm going to put the median price, the mid 300s um, in Rimrock. So it's a very affordable place to find a home. Um, I do sell real estate in all of Verde Valley, which would be Cottonwood, Camp Verde, Rimrock, Cornville, and Sedona, of course, is my main focus. And if you're interested in Prescott, Prescott Valley, Flagstaff, or even Phoenix, I could send you a list of homes for sale in those areas. My name's Dawn Dickinson. If you have a real estate question certainly drop me a line either text phone call email I will get back to you I have this YouTube channel living in Northern Arizona where I post every single week video about some topic pertaining to Arizona so if you like the video please subscribe give me a thumbs up and come back again next week where I will be posting a brand new video about something else